What's happening? What's up, everybody? This is Batsman Fan. Back at it again for you comic book fans. So, y'all saw from my little intro video, I got out a little uh, hunting around, looking for some action figures, and then I seen if I could uh, stumble into some comics. But, uh, you know, the name of this game today is Deal or No Deal. I want to know from y'all, did I get a deal or did I not get a deal? So, um, like I said in my past videos, since I've been set up here in the man cave, at the bats cave if you will, I have not showed y'all a video of that yet. I've got some uh, track lighting being installed hopefully tomorrow, so I should be really, really close uh, this week to finally getting to uh, shoot a video. But uh, anyways, so... Uh, these are my uh, two books, though, that I'm featuring uh, for this video. This is uh, Secret Wars number one and number eight. Uh, both are signed by Mike Zek, and one is signed by John Beatty or Beatty. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. So, the reason that I show you that, though, is to show you this. I picked this bad boy up today. It's got the thermos inside. Um, it does not have the cap for the thermos, but it's at least got the thermos. So, really happy to be able to get that. I bought this for 25 bucks. So, really happy to add that. I also um, picked up Old Man Logan Wolverine. Um, these figures are freaking hard to find, man. I'm trying to find a Cyclops, but more importantly, I really want a Colossus. I want that guy right there. Um, and I have had Hades trying to uh, be able to find those. So, let me get to the comic books that I want to see what y'all's opinion are, is, or are, will be. Um, is it a deal, or is it no deal? Be right back. Okay, so I went to an antique shop today and found some books. Um, I will show you the first three that I paid a pretty much retail for. Uh, if not, maybe a little bit above. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, this is Showcase uh, number 56, and um, I paid 15 bucks for this one. I know that that's either right on the mark or maybe a little bit over. Um, and I believe this is either the first Silver Age appearance of the Hour, Hour Man or it's the second Silver Age appearance of Hour Man or Dr. Fate, one of those two. Um, I believe it might be number 55 that's the first Silver Age appearance of Solomon uh, Grundy, but I could be wrong. So I paid 15 for that. I paid 10 for this. Uh, I just need to get it in a better bag. Uh, and it does have the poster in it. And then I bought this book right here. I don't know why, but it is in really, it's in pretty decent shape. It's uh, The Human Fly. I bought it for $4. So I paid the entry price of that to buy the following books for two dollars a piece now I've looked through nearly every one of these books they appear to be complete um, I've counted pages not on all of them but on the bigger ones I, I counted pages but there's gonna be some glaring issues here but two dollars a piece and you tell me if you think that's a good deal or a bad deal so I believe this is a golden age book um, this is Magnus Robot Fighter 4000 AD and this is like number five or six or something like that in that run. Let me scoot this a little bit closer so that um, uh, y'all can get a better view of the comics. Okay, so part of the reason I got these for two dollars is the kid that had this, he would write the date that he read it and he'd put red on here. So, um, July 3rd of 1966 he read this book so I mean I guess that's I mean it's somewhat 
pretty cool, I guess, that, uh, hey man, poof, read this book. Um, but, I'm not, a, I, I really don't like writing on covers. Next book. This is World's Finest, number 153. He read this one on June 30th of 1966. Um, it does have this little bit of a deal going down here on the cover. Um, and this issue is famous for the, well, here, if you don't know it, here it is. So that's why this book is famous. I also picked up World's Finest uh, 153. Now there is no writing on the cover of this one. Uh, but there is a little bit of a corner missing down there. Uh, next one I picked up is Detective Comics, number 341. Um, pretty pretty famous cover, if you will. I mean, I've seen this one a lot. Uh, but we've got writing here. I, I don't know what the significance of 41, 41, 41, 40, 41. I guess 341, maybe. And then we've got A1 right here. Thick and hearty sauce. I, hell, I don't know. Is that dirt? Maybe he was a Dirk Nowitzki fan before he was even born. I don't I don't know, folks. But that's what was wrote on the cover. So what are you going to do? Um, this was also in the box. This one's actually in pretty good shape. Um, I don't see really anything wrong with this one. But it's uh, Superboy number 156. Also, there was this World's Finest, um, number 164, and there's a little bit of a drawing right here. Other than that, a little bit of a, uh, some browning going right here, but, you know, for the most part, pretty nice. Um, what else? Oh, I also picked up this book today forgot to talk about that. Uh, this was a different place. I paid two bucks for this. The significance is it's a Adam Hughes cover. So, um, let's move right along. The next one I picked up was Avengers number 10. And this is the first appearance of Immortus. Uh, the issue with this one is there's a little bit of chunk out up here in the corner and they decided to draw a little hybrid man. It's either initials down there on the bottom of LM and then a man's face or, or I don't know what. But still, I mean, it's two bucks. But I want to know, what do y'all think? Was it stupid to buy it for two bucks? Or is that still a good deal? Um, the next one I got for two dollars now this one's really it's, it's got some issues oh and the interior pages on all these other than some of them have been signed by the reader they're in really nice shape um, so there's nothing wrong with the interiors on these books so this one right here this is strange tales 104 this is the first appearance of paste pot Pete, who later becomes the trapster I believe that's them right there but we really went nuts up here I don't know what the significance of 32 is but we wrote 32 all in the strange we've got 109 down there maybe that's in pencil we do have a pretty good little tear right here but books complete um, interiors are fine it's just a little bit road hard a little bit put up wet okay last two books we got Hawkman number five and two bucks got this chip out right up here and then a little bit of something going on right there other than that it's a solid book no writing on the cover so you know if you find Hawkman number five you're gonna try to find Hawkman number four right so, this is the second copy of Hawkman number four I have. Um, my other copy's uh, nicer. Um, but, 
this is Hawkman number four, the first appearance, uh, first appearance of Zatanna or Zatanna, however you want to pronounce it. Zatanna. I've heard it pronounced several different ways. Um, obviously, we've got some issues here. Uh, the book is complete. We do have this chunk missing right here, and we've got the number five written. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different um, spots on this book. But for the first appearance of Zatanna, would you pay two bucks? I don't know. I did. Um, and that's just what they, they priced them to me at is because they were in such um, bad shape. Um, you know, I, I don't, I'm assuming that these are probably, and not really, like, I'm assuming that this was still an okay buy. Um, but it is a little, you know, I hate pen, I hate marks on covers. Um, but I'd, I'd really be interested to, to see what y'all thought. Um, with the prices that I paid, is that still a good investment? And I say investment, I know some people, oh, it's not a don't, you know, investment this, investment don't, you know, whatever. But there, I don't want to spend money on something that I'm just automatically going to get punched in the teeth for. Um, I want to spend money on something that I like, first and foremost. Uh, and then B, something that I know I'm not going to lose any money on. Uh, <clears throat> at worst case, break even. Um, so that's just sort of, I, I don't buy comic books to make money. I only sell comic books to buy bigger books. I got so close this week. Uh, missed it by one bid. Uh, I almost had an X-Men number one. Um, but I got outbid at the last second. Uh that's just the way it rolls and if I'd have bought that book I'd have been selling some books to uh, recoup my money but anyways questions comments observations please let me know what y'all think good buys bad buys deal or no deal that is the question will you answer the question please possibly please Good day.